What is up everybody? My name is Famous from FLW Videos and today we're going to be talking about the counter guide for Verizion. So Verizion is from Generation 5. It is the third member of the Swords of Justice that we will be seeing in Pokemon Go. So I figured we would go ahead and talk about the top six counters. In at the number one position, we've got Moltres. Now Moltres has definitely been a trusty Pokemon throughout the entire time that it's been in the game. But with the addition of the new move Wing Attack that it got a couple of months ago, it's really going to showcase here just because of Verizion's typing being grass as well as fighting. It's going to be double super effective. As far as the movesets that you do want to go for, you're wanting to use Wing Attack as well as Sky Attack. Just know that Sky Attack is an exclusive move from a Raid Day. If you don't have that, then of course you could end up using some other moves. Just know that it is going to drop significantly in the performance, down 30% to the best move set of Wing Attack and then Sky Attack. As far as its ratings are concerned, you have a 5 star on damage, 5 star on bulk, and then a 2 star on consistency. So that's going to be the big kind of hit on this one. We will of course talk about why. As far as its rankings at level 35, as you can see, it's looking pretty solid overall. I'm definitely liking these numbers in the low part. A couple twos, but not that big of a deal. Now the reason why you're not seeing as good a consistency for this Pokemon has to do with Verizion having the move Stone Edge. That's going to be a big deal versus those flying type Pokemon, potentially fire as well. So that's something that you're going to have to keep a lookout for. As far as the soloists are concerned, if you're trying to low man this, there is the potential to do this with two players. But unfortunately, you will not be able to do it with just one player. That would be really cool. But yes, you can do it with two quite comfortably. Moving into the number two position, we don't see Honchkrow show up a lot on these lists, so it's really cool to see Honchkrow here. As far as its ratings are concerned, it's looking good with a five star on that damage, a two star on the bulk, so it's going to drop like a fly, and then finally we've got four star on the consistency. You do want to go with Peck as well as Sky Attack, and then it unfortunately does receive a bit of a drop on the second move set that's best to it, so definitely stick with the best move set in this case. Its rankings are a little bit all over the place, but as you can see, the power and the potions, you're going to need a little bit more of those in that case. And it's for the exact same reason that we were kind of seeing with Moltres as well, where you are going to have an issue with Stone Edge for sure, just because of that flying type. And then we have a neutral matchup in this case with Honchkrow being a part dark type. It gets neutralized. But versus Leaf Blade, I think that that would be kind of a solid move set to go up against. And then once again, as you can see, you could definitely do this with Honchkrow, but it will take at least two people. Honchkrow looking solid, so definitely excited to see it there. Up next, we have Rayquaza. So now typically with Rayquaza, what you end up seeing is a lot of people using it as a dragon type attacker. But in this case in particular, we are going to go with Air Slash as well as Aerial Ace. Aerial Ace is not even that great of a move, but Rayquaza is such a great Pokemon as far as its stats are concerned. We're seeing a big drop off in the performance as far as the alternate movesets are concerned. So once again, make sure you go with that. As far as its ratings are concerned, we've got a 5 star on the damage, 5 star on the bulk, and then a 3 star on the consistency. So as far as those ratings are concerned, I would say that Rayquaza is definitely looking good so far. It's got some good numbers ranked out at level 35. We're seeing a very consistent set of results, so that is exciting for this Pokemon. But once again, you're going to have to look out for that Stone Edge. That's going to be kind of the weak spot for all of these flying type Pokemon. Let's go ahead and move into the fourth position. Unpheasant. Now, I will say, this is actually the first time I have ever seen this Pokemon show up in like the top six results. So, welcome to the team. We've got Air Slash as well as Sky Attack. And then as far as its ratings are concerned, looking good on damage, looking good on consistency. Bulk, eh, not so much in this case. And then we do have a big drop in performance, so definitely go with Air Slash and Sky Attack. And as you can see, its level 35 rankings really aren't that bad overall. Sure, we're going to be a little bit low on that power and potions part, but once again, I think it's going to come down to that Stone Edge. We're seeing a lot of these Pokemon being weak to Stone Edge in this case, so that's going to be something to kind of look out for. Maybe in that case, you may not want to go with these flying type Pokemon. In the number five position, we've got our first Pokemon that is not a flying type Pokemon, and that is Mewtwo. Mewtwo is just a beast in this case because of that move set of Psy Strike. So you are going to want to go with Confusion and Psy Strike. As far as his performance is concerned, Psycho Cut is not that big of a deal. But if you only have like the classic Mewtwo with Confusion and Psychic, that's not that big of a drop off. So just kind of keep that in mind. We're looking good on the damage, pretty good on the bulk, and then very good on that consistency. 
as you can see, as far as its rankings are concerned, it's looking pretty tight in that way. We've got a couple of neutral matchups, and then of course we have some resistance versus that fighting type moveset. I'm thinking that Mewtwo could actually be the better general option maybe if you're not worried about timing as much. That way you don't have to worry about any moves being super effective against it. And then finally, into the number six position, we have Ho-Oh. Very excited to see Ho-Oh on this list. One of my favorite Pokemon from Generation 2. We've got a hidden power. Yes, hidden power. You have to have that flying type hidden power. Unfortunately, you can't control that, but hopefully you have one. And then, of course, Brave Bird in that case. Brave Bird, not that great of a move, but Ho-Oh does have some decent stats. As far as his ratings are concerned, looking okay on damage. Looking okay on bulk and not so much on that consistency. And then, of course, if we check out those rankings, we're seeing some pretty solid results. Very kind of uniform. And then, unfortunately, though, when you go up against it with that Stone Edge, that's just going to absolutely kill it with it being Fire as well as Power Flying type. It's just going to be double weak to it. So we've got a lot of Pokemon on this list that are the Flying type. So just kind of keep that in mind going up against Verizion. Anyways, hopefully you did enjoy this kind of walkthrough. Go ahead and head over to the Poke Battler website. Check out some of those alternative options. This is going to be a fun one to try out maybe some just kind of random Pokemon. And I would highly recommend you to go ahead and check it out.